Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Rebirth Kernel. How are you guys doing? It's been a long time since I've been here. I still am very busy. We only have five more weeks of work. Yes, I am on the countdown. <laughs> We're done on that last week of June, so I can't wait. Today I'm here to do a video with my beautiful Kapik. And she is right there. <laughs> I have some dresses to show you. Uh, the last time I did a video showing you her, I um, opened up some dresses for her and outfits for her, socks for her, but a couple of her dresses came in and I also want to share uh, a few things that I've bought for Senna, which is Daisy's girl, Daisy Skyheart. I will link her channel down below, but we have twin Maple Leah dolls. And she is, oh, what's her real name, the Maple Leah doll? <laughs> I forget her real name, but she is the Inuit doll, the Eskimo doll. We don't no longer use that term anymore. <clears throat> But we have twin soul sister dolls, and I can't wait to share some happy mail with her. So Kapik is here. That's where she is. That's where I put her. She is standing with some of my real authentic uh, heirlooms that I've received both from my dad while he was living and also um, in his will, he said, everything Inuit I get to have. So I do have many authentic Inuit things around my home, but right now, Kapik, which is my biological mother's real name, her English name is Rosemary, and Rosemary is standing with uh, many of those authentic um, heirlooms that I received at night shares them so much but let's get here uh, the things I have are done here so <laughs> and if you hear that I have a heater pointed on me it's cold and I refuse to turn on our heat uh, here in upper Canada it's plus nine degrees Celsius um if you have Google I'm gonna call her right away so just <laughs> mute that or mute I don't know if I can mute it uh, using my new editor is really hard for me to uh, edit the way I used to so I'm going to call Google hey Google what is plus 9 Celsius into Fahrenheit on the website qmath.com they say answer 9 degrees Celsius is equal to 48.2 degrees Fahrenheit so about 48 degrees Fahrenheit is what we have right now. And I can show you a little bit outside. It's wet. It's gloomy. It's rainy. Thank goodness it's not snow. Though. <laughs> we were, people were saying that we were supposed to have snow the, like just two days ago. Thank goodness that we didn't get any snow. We only got rain. But today is still rainy. I'll show you. I'll pause. So yeah, that is what our... At least we have green leaves. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> um, some of the trees have not bloomed yet, but we just barely got some green leaves happening. But at least with all this rain, it should help, right? <laughs> so here are the things that I bought for Kapik. And I'll show you the things that I bought for Sedna and Kapik. But first, Kapik. Um, it's only a couple of things. This is one of the dresses that I got. I picked out for her. It's really cute, and it has um, these characters on them. So cute! I can't wait to have her try it on. She is wearing a dress right now, but. Uh, can't wait for and then I chose this one and by the way these are also from Timu and then I bought 
this one which has those designs I tried um, to pick indigenous inspired outfits so oh and one more one more just for a couple and the rest I bought twins twin sets okay look at that okay This dress, I also bought for a pick. I'm sorry I didn't open it yet. Oh, this heater feels so nice on me. <laughs> Our, the house is only like 17 degrees Celsius, which is pretty cold. Room temperature is 24 degrees Celsius. So, throw that. So this is a mermaid inspired dress. Isn't that pretty? It's just the dress like this. So this is it. Isn't it pretty? I really like it. Okay, these are the twin things that I picked up for Senda and Quebec. So Daisy, if you're watching, that's totally fine. <laughs> You will receive these very soon. I have five weeks left of school. I can't get to the mail office before or after school. We don't have a uh, mailman where I live, like, you know, door-to-door -door delivery. We don't have that. We only have a post office. And their hours are from 8.30 in the morning until 5.30 in the evening. Um, and I leave to go to work by 7 a.m. And then we're not home till just around 5, a little after 5. Sometimes it depends on what the roads are like. So, um, I can sometimes try and get there and check the mail, but to actually pay for something to go out, I never have enough time unless I have a day off or until I'm on holidays like not a stat holiday because then the post office is closed so I have to wait until July 2nd or 3rd or whatever that for July 1st is Canada Day so everything will be closed but um you will you will be receiving two different packages from me so she knows one of them but she doesn't know all the goodies that I'm sending her in happy mail although you will be seeing what I'm sending you now <laughs> I feel like I'm rattling okay so I bought two of these two of these these are mermaid dresses for our dolls like nicer than the one I just opened so I'll open one of the picks and I'll leave the other one in this bag but I'm sharing this. Oh, it's so pretty. So uh, it looks like a, okay, I get it. I was gonna say it looks like an apron. <laughs> but, yeah, so it has a tail on it. And then you turn it around and her body goes. And it's a mermaid tail. It's a mermaid tail dress. And this is on the front. It's a mermaid. So one for me, one for you. And um, I opened this already. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, it's right. This. Isn't that cute? It's a mini igloo. And it comes with a tree just for decoration so I bought you one <laughs> it's in here here's your little igloo and a tree in there so that is coming your way um, and these I just had to get these I had to get one for you and one for me but look at this beautiful doll I'll open mine but here I have to. <laughs> I have such a bad habit when I send happy mail to people. It's like, okay, one for you, one for me. One for you, one for me. One for you, one for me. Because I love them just as much. 
And besides the idea of having a twin uh, gift means a lot to me. It's like, you know, the best friend. One half, one half. Okay. So now, ooh, look at the beautiful dress she has. Oh. Oh. We'll have to come up with star names, star mermaid names for them. Ooh. Ooh, look. Wow. Look. Wow. Oh, her hair is some pigtails. She is beautiful. <laughs> she is stunning. She does have these feet. But Okay, so she does have feet. I wonder if you can undress her or is this it? Look how beautiful. <laughs> See, I think I would leave her in this. Isn't she beautiful? Wow. I need to find some shells for her. Oh yeah, that re oh I there there is well <laughs> there are <laughs> there are other things I got for us. I didn't put them in this pile, but I do have um they're little beads, but they're shell beads. So it's like a a metallic different colored like th like this blue there's a purple there's a silver I think uh, I wonder I think I put them away oh I see them they're over there okay um I'll show you right away but um I having shells like imagine a little I wanted to make them like a shell necklace so to share I'll show you right away. And one more thing that I bought for both of us. Sit that there. And are you ready? It's a mermaid pouch. You can use it for anything you want. I was thinking of using mine for some of Sedna's and Cupcake's clothing or shoes or socks. Um, just like a travel. Okay, I bought. See. One for you, one for me. So I'll open one. <coughs> Sedna and Cupid are spoiled. <laughs> Ooh, so beautiful. What's it say? This is mermaid. Ooh, it's really thick. Oh, and it's lined. I don't know if it... Oh, it should... Well, anyways... The, a pouch for anything you wish but I'm going to put some of Capic's things in here and all it has a you know what I would love to make like a, a I can't even think a handle, a longer handle a beaded ooh I have some mermaid beads like they're pearl looking beads yes that is a good idea Okay, I'll pause and I'll grab those shell beads that I was talking about. So I bought some of these to make crafts with for our beautiful dolls. And I'll show you what they look like. So I wanted to make like a necklace for the girls. But you could tell me what color you would like. So there's pink, blue, this is gold, and silver. So there's pink, blue, gold, and silver. Yes, those are my colors. So if you would pick a color, Daisy. And tell me what color you would like 
um, segment where maybe a gold like around her neck that would look cool I thought of making earrings out of this too oh, I'm starting to have a coughing fit I had to pause you <coughs> a couple of times wait <laughs> Um, also, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, uh, we adopted, took in a dog, and as much as I love her, did I show you her? I'll show you her in a sec. <laughs> her name is Mojo, but <coughs> um, Francis and I, <laughs> wait. We're allergic <laughs> to dogs, but um, we love her, and she was uh, Jeremy's dog many, many years ago, and then she became Eric's dog about many, many years ago, not at my house. Like, um, why is she licking my couch? Hey, Mojo. Hi. Hi, Mojo. What you doing? So, um... She's been living at many different houses because um, uh, first owner kind of kicked her out. Uh, other owners of hers um, had to find other homes for her because they were moving. And then her last owner uh, moved and the new place where they're going to does not allow pets. So, uh, her original owner doesn't even want to see her again. So, that wasn't an option. So, we took her in and she's spoiled and she loves it here. So, and we love having her. It's just that we're allergic to her. <laughs> so, we try and keep her clean. And, um, it's her dander that her dog hair. So, <laughs> We've been vacuuming a lot more lately, but <clears throat> we spoil her. I bought her many toys already, and she destroyed them. <laughs> so, but yeah, as you can see, that's her spot <laughs> on the couch, even though she's right there. <laughs> she can have any pick that she wants. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, guys, I'm going to go for now. <coughs> I just wish I was not allergic. I got this big lump going on in my throat. I bought myself some more Flonase. It's a nasal antihistamine, so <clears throat> hopefully that will help. I've been taking it for a long time now. I ran out, so I had to buy some <laughs> new stuff today. Oh my goodness. Sorry. Anyways, guys, hope that you're having a great day. Thank you so much. Wait. <coughs> and this is another reason why I haven't been doing videos as much because we're, the allergies and the coughing is just not fun. And I know my voice sounds half sickly. So, <laughs> anyways, guys, hope that you're having a great day. Thank you so much for being here. And until next time, very, very soon, and especially in the summer. <laughs> bye, guys. Bye, guys. Until next time. Bye, guys.